welcome everyone to Meet the Valley. Back with Simrail, and I'm back with Jay Ye Young underscore Henny. If you guys don't know him by now, go check him out on YouTube and Twitch. How are you, Jay? Hello, hello, Jimmy. Doing great, I hope. Uh, I know I've been going through a lot of shit lately, but hope you're feeling better. Yeah, been better, but not not so bad right at the moment. Cool, cool. So uh, previously we were on the old uh, loco for Simrail. Simrail just released on early access uh, as of today, and this is going to be part two. We're going to check out the next loco, which is like a bullet train type loco. It's a lot newer, a lot more sophisticated, a lot more modernized. Uh, what do you think of this uh, new local, Jay? Well, it's a lot less confusing than the German ones on the uh, train sim world. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this is it here. It's a uh, rolling stock, the 34WE. Let's quickly check it out. It has a lot of potential. They have dispatcher mode as well, where you can control all the trains in inbound or outbound, see which ones are allowed come in and which ones aren't according to the schedule Today you will run that is a feed in itself i'll tell you that the game you. mode where you need you a green the green <laughs> yeah. multiple unit to operate it there are videos out there showcasing how to uh, manage to get it running though great now switch on the battery and then close the cover it's time to enter the cabin use the one key or press on the door to enter the passenger section. Every time it remind, every time it says that, it reminds me of an advert we used to have in UK, and it, that... it used to be a, about um, you know kitchen towel, like kitchen uh, kitchen roll, kitchen paper. Okay. That you used to wipe up your spills. Yeah. And, and you used to have this like uh, now, kind turn of like on the radio um, telephone. a lone allow ranger you to kind of guy. The during the entire journey. The character. And go, Activate the cabin by turning um, the switch clockwise no, like to the a, first like position. like um, what they call them, a, ma a matador. Right. And he'd go, most Our other, powered by most other kitchen rolls take two system. sheets to clean so up mess. To Mine the only takes one sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Now, close the quick circle breaker. Wait for a quick circle breaker to close and also wait for the converter and compressor to start. The correct operation of these devices is necessary, for example, to supply the braking system of a train. Now, set the forward direction. If only I knew what the forward position is on the keyboard. It would Turn make things so much easier. Position. Wait, is it not W1S on this game, or am I thinking of Frames in World? Yeah, Frames in World. Yeah. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Now we need to release the parking brake. Use the call button on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness to the train dispatcher. Zombkovice, 4665, ready to approach the platforms. Wait I gotta learn how to use the cruise the control, though. That will allow you to drive toward the platform. Well, it's easy. You were pressing keys and it just won't work so I think it's disabled in tutorial. Okay. Although, no. I Push remember actually using it in the tutorial. You can use the plasma hmm. on an ampad. Control the throttle not to exceed 25 yeah. km per hour speed limit. Well, at least we're getting a distance marker now. Actually, no, I think when when I use cruise control, it would in multiplayer because I had a guy telling me how to do it. So I think, right. Yeah, I don't think it would be too sorry. Well, I'm going to find out how to use cruise control. 
just another safety feature that you have to know how to use. Convenient as well, because instead of messing about with leaves, you can just press the button. Put the lever backwards, or use the minus key on an ampad to break. Allow the passengers to open the doors by rotating the switch to the correct side. Wait until the departure time. Close the doors after the train manager is ready and ride the train according to the timetable. You can see the approximate semaphore indications and upcoming speed limits on the top right corner of the screen. Your speedometer will show you the set power, current speed limit and current brake power. Your train stops at every station and train stop. Pay close attention to indicators and semaphores. Also pay attention to dispatcher commands. Yeah, I like this part. Great detail on the train. Mm -hmm. it looks pretty good. I like they've added the station announcements as well. They didn't have them in beta, did they? No, yeah, that's brand new. Nice gloss textures. Let's set it up for departure. I think this has changed as well because I remember after every stop in this tutorial you had to drain that brake pipe. Yeah. And you don't have to do that now. Alright, I think I can leave now. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Disable the ability to open the doors by turning the switch to the correct position. Push the throttle forward to accelerate. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to lock the doors, do you? Yeah, I did. It's uh, O on the keyboard. P is yeah. left, O is uh, center, and I is, uh, sorry, P is right, O is to lock, I is the left, left side. Again, it shows up as a minute early, even though we left on time. Well, oh yeah, you well. even got points for departing on time as well. Yeah. Alright, two kilometers. I was getting a bit worried that you tripped the emergency system there by uh, <laughs> moving reverser. <laughs> yeah. I didn't move a uh, reverser. Or did I? Oh no, it was, yeah, the brake, wasn't it? Yeah, the, yeah uh, it was brake. Independent brake, yeah. After leaving the station, can accelerate to the scheduled speed. Still picking up speed though for some reason. You know, right now on my phone, you make it's a small screen. Like looking out of the window of the train, it all actually looks pretty real. Oh, cool. But obviously, you can tell the train itself not real. But looking out the window, it looks like a real, uh, real scenery. Nice. Popping. <laughs> yeah, the pop in the shadow, the loading. I don't know why I'm gaining speed, only to miss a stop. I think to get this 
shoot all of the gun, I just, I played it safe like you are now. I don't think I ever hit the 120, I think I just played it safe. No, you can't, it's... I already have to start breaking now. Yeah. But at least it's showing me how, how much distance. Look at that. Look at that. approaching the stop. Remember that the train needs <laughs> to Yep, so it wobbled the last time. Give permission to open the doors. Not gonna miss it this time. No. No. Oh. Oh, oh look the at check. That. Look at that. Right on the check mark. That couldn't have worked out any better. <laughs> yeah. That was beautiful. Have you, not have you noticed when you open doors, your little wing mirror folds out? Yeah, 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 that's so cool. Hold on, let me take a look at that. So once we get into the uh, lock position, the mirror should fold back in for aerodynamics. They'll probably not do it now, though, I'm not going to look stupid. 4665, ready for departure. Push the throttle forward to accelerate. And right, I haven't done it, has it? No. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, well. I thought it was going to mess us out to be liars. <laughs> <laughs> they used to do it as soon as you caught dog before, though, didn't it? Yep. There's a little delay now. Once you get started, and it goes over a certain speed. Zero minute delay, look at that. Look how crazy that looks. I've never experienced that in this game. Ten points not sounding the signal, okay. Alright, alright game. You are approaching the next. See, I only know on British rail lines, you've got to sound a signal when you pass that little W sign. I don't know what the hell it means, why, but I know you've got to do it. Speed limit violation. Uh, That's a new one. Yeah, yeah, it dropped to 20 and then back to 120 again. <laughs> uh, I think that's a little bit bugged. <laughs> It's like the, the speed limit changes at the stations are so erratic that I don't think that's intended. Come on! No, no, don't break the point! Don't break the point! Please! Oh. Oh. I think that will be quite good. Yeah, right on the tip. Just a tip, yeah. please. Not a bad position at all. Excuse me. Alright. How much time we have? 12, 12 seconds. Let's watch the mirror. 12 seconds. Let's Disable the ability oh, to open I the forgot. doors by turning the switch to the correct position. Push the throttle forward to accelerate. Come on, Mir. There we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, 100 speed limit in 2 kilometers. Reach up to that speed right now.
I don't care, I don't pay attention to the one. Well that's what I mean, it'd be nice if the game explained when you have to do that, but we don't know. Yeah. We don't, we don't drive Polish well, train. Exactly, we're not real engineers, so we don't understand the signage. And look, it goes to 20 when you cross over that little uh, vehicle crossing. Top signal, oh yeah. It, oh yeah, yeah, upcoming. Definitely don't want to pass that. No. Now, if I remember now, I think you've got a radio through to the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounding a warning signal again. What for? <laughs> <laughs> Not like there were a crossing or animals on near track roll. Use the call button on the radio to call yep. the dispatcher. You called it. Which one was it? Third one, I think. I'll have this one. Dombrova Gurnica, 4665, requesting permission to enter the station. 4665, approach to Dombrova Gurnica, permit signal on track number one. The substitute signal allows for entry in emergency situation at a speed of up to 40 kilometers an hour. I think I got a green light. But I have to go 40. Yeah. The station's only a kilometer away. Okay, so let's reach up to 40. You did this tutorial as well, didn't you? Yeah. Look, it's gonna go down to 20 right now. Boom. That is so weird. Yeah. At least you don't lose points for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's stupid going, uh, showing that it's uh, 20 right over the uh, vehicle crossing. Yeah, well, they either didn't do that before, or I never noticed it. There's our station. And it's going to show 20 kilometers again. And you do get points taken off for that one. I did? You did at last station, yeah. Not this time, though. Hmm. Weird. Well, at least we're on a zero minute delay again. Yeah, making good time. Yeah. Right. I mean, technically, you're a couple of a couple of years early or late because it says it's 2021 there. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Good call.
15 seconds. Get back in the cab. Press lock doors. I think I commented on that on my video afterwards. Really? Yeah, I think I think I said something along the lines of, "Okay, it's 2021, so why is nobody wearing a mask?" <laughs> nice. Oh, you did it. Good luck. Nice. That was great. I think that was a that was a flawless run right there. Yeah. Apart from the fucking speed limit, but that's not your fault. Yeah, that's not. And especially those vehicle crossings where it jumps to twenty. Yeah. Not cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll come to the next stop, stop there, and end the tutorial. I don't see a speed limit, so might as well raise our speed a bit. But overall, uh, I give this game a, a 7 out of 10, the way things are so far. See, the issue here is, he said this is the end of the tutorial, but keep driving the train. He can't yeah. actually just quit. Because it won't acknowledge that you've finished the tutorial, you've got to actually keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. But technically, it's not the end of the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, drive without any kind of uh, indication or help from the announcer anymore. Yeah. Until you actually finish the route. But we're going to end it at this stop here. Yeah. But I did say back on the beta and in my video that then we need checkpoints and save points in between routes. Right. right. So it's a long thing to start from beginning again. Yep. A save point would be nice. Yeah. And not only that, not, not everybody has the time to drive a route for like two hours. <laughs> exactly. And to redo it and have to do those two hours again? Yeah. Not nice. Very loud brakes, by the way. That's it. That's going to do it, guys. Sim rail with a new loco. Uh, check out the video on the old loco as well. I have Jay uh, helping me out there as well. Uh, cheers. Thank you all. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this uh, part two uh, tutorial of Sim rail. It's available on Steam right now in early access for about uh, 30 euros, 26, 27 quid. Um, in the UK. Uh, Jay, your last thoughts before we uh, end up this episode? No, I'm, 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 I'm just content with watching complete the tutorial. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game develops in the future. I'm going to be showcasing it with a lot more videos. Also, uh, I think Jay's going to be showcasing it later on if he gets a chance. So cheers guys, thank you all for uh, joining us, thank you Jay, you've done a tremendous job helping me out here today. Cheers, you may always phone. Uh, take care and I hope you feel better here soon buddy. Um, that's it for now, don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now, Jimmy Dali signing out. <laughs>